Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple MP3 player with the help of your C# -sharp application. In the last video, I have shown you how to add a window media player for playing video into your C# -sharp application. So I am using the this window media player tool from my last video. If you don't know how I added this uh, window media player in my C# -sharp form, just go back to the last video and see how I have uh, taken or added this window media player tool in my C# -sharp application. So just go and uh, drag this window media player this one and just drop it here okay now these are the button which i have created last time i'm going not going to use them so this time i will use uh, list box from here so i will drag and drop this list box here for choosing the list of uh, the mp3 files okay and then i will take a button for choosing those files so this button text i will change it as uh, choose playlist okay so this is for choosing the playlist and this list box will show the playlist of the videos and when you select any one song from here it should play here so once you have done that we need this this and this for this task so just double click this button and just go at the top and we will declare just this below this uh, form declaration where your initialize component is there we will declare two global variables here which are of string array type so write string this square bracket files comma path so declare these two global variables which we can use in our function just go back once again into your form just double click this and in here we are going to write the code once again so in here just write this code so what is this code first of all I will show you so this is for opening the open file dialog and then copying the path of the files into your list box so just write open file dialog open file dialog variable name is equal to new open file dialog bracket and bracket close if your open file dialog dot show dialog is equal to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot ok then just save the name of the file into this file variable ok which is a global uh, variable file string file so if you have no if you if you know i have declared this two global variables here file and path so this is the first variable file is equal to your uh, open file uh, file dialog variable name dot save file names okay so this is this this will just uh, copy the name of the file into this string variable called file then in the second line write path is equal to open file dialog one dot file names so this will copy the whole path of the file into this uh, path variables paths variable so it will copy all the files will you, which you select and it will copy all the paths which you will select and save it into this path array variable then write for in the bracket int i is equal to 0 
semicolon i is less than files dot length so th this is the length of this file variable this variable so file dot length semicolon i plus plus okay and in the for condition write list box which is the name of this list box variable see it from here so name of that list box dot items dot add and just copy this files variable here and in the square bracket write i which is this int variable and bracket and bracket closed so this is just for choosing the file and placing the files into the list box okay so the in the list box you will only see the name of the file and our original file will be contained by this path variable so path of the file will be contained by this path variable and the file names will be contained by this variable and this uh, we are transferring into the list box so the list box will only show the name of the files it will not show the path of the file so it will go look good now just go to your form once again and just select your list box and double click it and we come to the list box selected index event and in here we will write just select your window media player tool and just copy its name so i will copy it copy it and once again list box double click it and paste it here dot url okay and then just copy your path variable string type variable which we have declared above as our global variable so write this and bracket and bracket close and in here we are going to pass whatever there in the list box so whatever we choose in the list box that path will come in this bracket so this is a array that's why i should write square bracket here right and then i will go to my form i will just select this list box and i will copy the name of the list box from here and just go there once again and in this path array i will pass list box dot selected index okay so write this so this is only one line code and this one line code what it's doing is it's whatever file or whatever uh, name you will choose in your list box it will copy that list or the path of that uh, file into your window media player url okay and now let's try and run our program so this is our program so i will choose a mp3 file from here so i will select one mp3 file and when i click this uh, mp3 file you see the music is started but there is still one problem with multi select so for example once again i select some other file it will be added here but it when you click this second file it will not play and it will show some error so let's fix this uh, problem now so once again go to your form here and go to your choose playlist once again and in here we have declared earlier open file dialog open file dialog name is equal to new open file file dialog so just copy this variable and so i will copy this and just below that i will select paste it here dot multi select is equal to true so 
what this line will do is it will in it enables us to choose multi files okay multiple files so now when you run your programs and when you see here uh, you could be able to select all the three files at the same time right so that's what we wanted just select all three files open it and when you play I will just mute this and then when you play first it's playing first a uh, song when you play, when you click second it's playing the second song and when you play third it's playing the third song okay so now you have made a simple mp3 player with the help of your windows form application in c sharp i hope you have learned something new this time please write comment and subscribe and bye for now